Hello everyone, I'm Joyria. I'm from Sudan. Now I'm a PhD student at School of Electronics and Engineering, Department of Information and Communication, Tonji University, Shanghai, China. I wrote this paper with my supervisor, Prof. Xilin Huang. Our paper title is A Servational Estimation for Intelligent Reflecting Surface, IRS. The paper contents are Introduction, the IRS channel estimation, and we have three methods for IRS channel estimation, cascaded channel estimation, with recognition selecting the full channel matrix manner and beam training manner, partial channel estimation, and explicit channel estimation. And the summary, future research, and conclusion. First section, it is introduction. Here we give you brief introduction about IRS. First, before we ask what is the IRS, we should ask why IRS. In the wireless communication, IRS is used to help the transmission between the transmitter and the receiver when the direct link has been blocked. As we see on the figure, this tree blocks the signals between the users and base station. How does it work? IRS passively reflects the incident signals from the transmitter to the intended receivers. What is the IRS? Now, what is the IRS? As we see on the figure, this is the IRS. IRS it is a two-dimension 2D electromagnetic array consisting of a massive number of massive elements to reflect the incident signals. IRS features are low complexity, small cost, and low energy consumptions. IRS applications. IRS have many applications such as the user at dead zone, user at cell edge, physical layer security, and power transfer on the Internet of Things. On this figure, we have user at dead zone because those users located on the dead zone because this tree blocks the signals between users and base stations. IRS challenges. Recently, there are many challenges for IRS, but the three main challenges are IRS deployment, IRS channel estimation, and IRS reflection optimization. Our paper survey is treated with IRS channel estimation challenges. As we see on this figure, this figure is the IRS network consisting of users, the IRS, and the base stations, and consisting of three links. The first link or first channel, the direct user and base station channel. This channel it is blocked by three, so we ignore this channel. The second channel it is user and IRS channel. And the third channel is the IRS and base station channel. To a, the second section is IRS channel estimation. To achieve the benefits of IRS, the acquisition of accurate channel state information, CSI, is essential, but it is challenging. Why it is essential and why it is challenging? It is essential because for the IR, because the IRS it is need CSI to set the reflection coefficient or to set it is reflection coefficient to reflect the incident signals. But it is challenging. It is challenging due to the passive and massive elements of IRS. Passive elements, it means IRS have passive elements without any sensing capabilities to send or receive the viral symbols. And the IRS consisting of massive elements. So those massive elements increase the links or buffets to be estimated. And during the limited channel estimation time, the IRS cannot estimate the CSI for all those elements, or, I, or the IRS cannot estimate the full CSI. Recently, there are three methods for IRS channel estimation. The first method is a cascaded channel estimation. It is called fully passive IRS because here, all the IRS elements it is a passive element. Cascaded it means user to IRS channel and IRS to base station channel. The second method it is the partial channel estimation method. Here the IRS surface it is a qubit with some active elements for channel estimation purpose. So this method it is called it is also called semi passive IRS. The third method is the explicit channel estimation. Here the IRS elements equip it with some received radio frequency RF chain for channel estimation purpose. Okay. In the IRS, how we can estimate the CSI? 
in the traditional wireless network, the base station, the user send the base station, send the viral symbol to the base station, and base station after estimates the CSI, reflected it back to the user on the DAO link. But here, the direct link between the user and the base station, it blocked it. So, the user sent their viral symbol to the IRS, IRS reflected it to the base station. So, the received signal at the base station y of t, it is equal h, x of t, phi plus n of t. Where y of t, it is the received signal at the base station, h, it is the cascaded user IRS, IRS is the station channel reflection matrix, x of t, the user transmitted signal, phi, it is the IRS reflection coefficients, phi it is equals beta m, e power to j c to m for l for all m equals 1 to capital M, where m it is IRS elements. Beta m belongs to 0 or 1, it is the reflect amplitude. C to m belongs to 0 or 2 by, it is the phase shift. And NOT, it is the received as it white Gaussian noise. Okay, the first method for IRS channel estimation is the cascaded channel estimation. This method is based on the biolog symbols. Here, during the, during the channel coherence time, T, capital T, symbols, the IRS operate on two, two phases. The first phase it is the channel estimation phase. Here, the user sends their biolog symbols, tau symbols, to the IRS. IRS affected it to the base station for channel estimation. The base station estimates this channel H. And in the second phase, data transmission phase, after estimate the H, the IRS design, the base station design the beam, design the beam forming, the passive beam forming, phi, to adjust the IRS. And on the reset of the T minus tau symbols, the user sends their data. And the user sends their data. Okay. In the cascaded channel estimation method, the first method is the reconstructing the full channel matrix manner. Okay, as we see on the figure, we have a user, IRS, and base station. Based on the uplink transmission, the user sends the uplink biro symbols to the IRS, and the IRS reflects the user's biro symbols to the base station on the uplink. So the base station first estimates the channel, the channel reflection matrix H. Second, depends on H, the base station designs the passive beam forming phi. In the double link, the base station, the base station sends the passive beam forming phi to the IRS for adjusting it. Depending, depending on phi, the IRS on the double link reflects the signals to the users. So here we have the data transmission. Okay, here we have some related works. Here, uh, those authors considered the channel, the cascaded channel estimation based on reconstructing the full channel matrix manner. The second me method for IRS channel estimation, the second method for the cascaded channel estimation, it is the beam training manner. Here, the passive IRS executes the set of operations. That operations are known to the transceivers, to both transceivers, to the user and the base station. Depending on this operation, the active terminals on the network estimate the channel measurements or estimate the CSI. And then send them, send them to the IRS controller, send this channel measurement to the IRS controller to design the beam buttons or beam direction for data transmission. For data transmission, this manner is based on the beam training or beam directions. A last one, we have related works for this method. The second method for IRS channel estimation it is the partial channel estimation. Here, the IRS surface is cubed with some active elements. The user or basic session sends the viral symbol to IRS active elements for channel estimation. After estimate the CSI in the reflection beam forming stage, those active elements work as the reshoot of the passive elements that reflect the incident signals. So here, beside the 
passive elements, we have some active elements, those active elements just used for training estimation. And the machine learning techniques are used to learn the IRS how to interact with or reflect the incident signals. The machine learning technique, such as um, deep learning or deep reinforcement learning technique. Okay, here we have some related work. As we see, those authors considered the um, deep learning method, and those authors considering the deep reinforcement learning for IRS, and so on. The third method for IRS channel estimation, it is, the IR, it is the explicit channel estimation. Here, the IRS elements are equipped with or connected to some radio frequency, to some receive radio frequency RF chains to allow sensing capabilities for the explicit estimation. As you mentioned before, the IRS elements, it is a passive elements without any sensing capabilities to send or receive viral symbols. Here, we add some receive RF chain to allow sensing capabilities for the explicit estimation. Here we estimate the explicit channel from the user to the base station through the IRS. We explicit this channel at the IRS based on the training signals. So the user send the uplink viral symbols to the IRS to estimate the user IRS channel. At the same time, the base station send the downlink biolot symbol to the IRS to estimate the IRS base station channel. So here, the IRS estimate both of user to IRS and IRS to base station channel parallelly at the same time. And last one, we have some related works, related works for this method. Okay, based on the previous mention. The channel estimation in a cascaded manner occurs at the active terminals on the network. It means the base station or the user, and is achieved by the user or by or the base station by road symbols, or achieved by the beam training manner. In the channel estimation partial manner, the channel estimation it occurs at the IRS active elements based on the user or base station by road symbols. And in the explicit channel estimation manner, the channel estimation it occurs at the IRS depending on both user and base station viral symbols. The same sections, our summary. Here we summarize our, our works to help the interested to help the interested for IRS channel estimation and researchers to get or to take to take the information clearly and directly we summarize our work and made the table summarize we summarize our works in table and these tables as we see on the next slide consisting of five direction the first direction the irs channel estimation method second direction the irs channel estimation problem formulation method the third direction the irs reflection button the fourth direction, the network context, and the last one, system performance evaluation method. Okay, this is our summary. In the first column, we have survey, the authors or the survey, related works. And second column, we have the year of publication. And the second column is the scope. This scope consisting of five sections. First section, IRS channel estimation method. It's based on cascaded channel estimation partial channel estimation or explicit channel estimation. Second method, problem, problem formulation method. It based on learning method, learning method, mathematical method, or beam training method. The third one is the IRS reflection button. This button, it is binary reflection. It is means zero or one, or it is means on and off strategy, or full reflection. Full reflection, it means all the IRS elements, it is on, at all the time. But binary reflection, some elements it is on and some elements it is off. Okay? The first direction is the network context. It is a single user or multi-user, uplink transmission or downlink transmission. And the last section it is a system performance evaluation method. It based on the 
estimation error, which is normalized mean square error, NMSE, least square LS, or mean square error, MSE. Or the second method is the quantization error. Future research. Here we highlight some future research for IRS channel estimation. Until now, the IRS channel estimation, it is challenging in practice. So the first topic, how to execute the existing IRS channel estimation proposal practically in the real world. The second research topic, in IRS Edmund user communication schemes, how to, how to minimize the channel estimation time to maximize the data transmission time. And the third topic, how to optimize the existing channel estimation scenarios in case of IRS elements grouping and partition to obtain high performance with low complexity, minimum channel estimation time, and minimum training overhead. Recently, some authors, they subdivided the IRS elements to group. They subdivided the M IRS elements to K groups. Why? To reduce the channel estimation time and the adjacent IRS elements have the same reflection coefficient. So in the third topic or third future research topic, how to optimize the existing channel estimation scenarios in this case to obtain high performance with low complexity, minimum channel estimation time, and minimum training overhead. On our conclusion, this survey presented an overview of channel estimation for IRS edit communication systems, reviewed the recent related works, and highlighted the important future research direction for IRS channel estimation. We hope this survey becomes helpful in future research in this field and contributes to facilitating the IRS challenges. Okay, thanks for your attention.